Yo, what is going on everybody? Guiding Light here, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to collect a secret Viking hat and secret Viking throwing knife in Red Dead Redemption. Now, if you guys have just picked up the game, these items are located in some of the more scenic areas of the map. You will need to do a little bit of riding in order to collect these items. However, once you get to this area, there aren't any other requirements or anything like that. You can just pick up these items and immediately start using them. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get the Viking hat as well as the Viking throwing knife. So if you guys have just started out in Red Dead Redemption 2, you may not have this area of the map uncovered yet, but this is where you will need to ride to in order to collect these items. So if we pull up the world map here, we're going to be heading into the northeastern region over here just below Roanoke Valley. Now once you guys get into Roanoke Valley, you will need to follow this road here just south. Now you will need to break end where this fork in the road comes here, and once you guys get to this location, you will find these broken down ruins. So go ahead and inspect these ruins, get them down in your notebook, and then while you guys are here, there are two separate items that you guys can pick up and then use throughout your game. So after you guys are finished with your journal entry, if you head over to the table located just in front of me, there is a secret viking hatchet in which you can pick up. Now once you have the item picked up, you can actually select it in your weapon wheel and use it whenever you'd like on enemies or just to throw it for fun. Now once it's thrown, you will need to pick it back up in order to get it again or buy it again from a shop. So keep that in mind if you ever just throw this thing and want to get it back. Now while you guys are here, make sure to go back into the tomb after having some fun with the hatchet and you can actually pick up the secret viking hat as well. So if we head past the table we just got the hatchet from and then make this quick left, you will see a couple skulls here on these tables. Now if you make your way all the way to the right, we're going to see here that you can actually swap out your hat for this viking helmet. So once you've gotten that, it will be added to your wardrobe and it will also be added to your collections if you guys are going for 100% game completion. So hopefully this quick guide for Red Dead Redemption helped you guys out. If it did, be sure to drop a like down below. Let me know if you guys would like to see any more Red Dead Redemption guides or tutorials in the future. And I will catch you guys in the next ah. one. Peace. Yeah.